Good morning, everybody. I'm finally back. I went on a little, uh, I'm overwhelmed and overstimulated hiatus at the end of August there, but it's fine. It's fine. I finally redid my calendar for September. It is September 1st today, and there's something going on every weekend, except for the weekend of nothing, but that's purposeful, so it feels like I have plans because we planned to do nothing and we want it to feel like that, so. Today it is 10, 19. I took a shower this morning, well like bath shower or whatever, and I got myself dressed. It's a step. And it's nasty cold sore. It's like two of them. Insane. Uh, I gotta put something on it this morning, but I'm hungry and I need my coffee. If you have been keeping up on my Instagram story, our Dunkin' Donuts just opened, so I really wanna go get donuts. But today I've gotta go pick up speakers um, from Sam's Club, and then we have play practice tonight. <sighs> Going off to direct a play. And then we all get donuts too, if I go in early enough. We'll see. Anyway, so we are just kind of chilling. I have this cut on my leg that I need to put a band-aid back on. It's been a time. I need to clean some. Uh, I'm also in the middle of a project because I'm in the middle of a million projects. Uh, I'm starting my paper mache tree today, hopefully, and I am redoing my craft closet right now. While I was gone, I redid my hallway closet. So I have a before and after picture for you of that because I didn't actually do a good job of filming it. I didn't film it at all because I was just not able to. I'm going to get these kids dressed, so we'll check out the closet in a minute. Okay, the boys are dressed, but I just want to show you my outfit today because <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, got cold sore medication on too for my lip and I decided to move my candles over here so they were a little bit more accessible but like okay so up here we've got like paper products and stuff for parties and events decorations for parties and events and extra diapers and then behind that is a tea set cans and a couple of picture things and then down here we've got these are like mag magazines for um on homeschooling. So this is my education closet. Um, I just haven't taken them out yet. This is just here. Um, this is a bunch of like stuff for Gabriel to use and like school related learning materials. More learning materials, school education stuff, movies, and then the rest is empty. My candles, obviously. And then back here we've got like extra baby stuff that Azaria isn't currently using. With my candles, so my top shelf is fall, Christmas and winter, summer and neutral, and then like other ones that I've made are on the bottom because the ones that I have made are hit or miss whether they work. So, yes. What's up, dude? I'll follow you in just a second. And then this is the state of my craft room office space in the study. It's insane. It's a mess. I've started emptying everything out because I've come to the conclusion that I need to empty everything out before I can start putting stuff back in. But like choosing what I can have out during the day and what I can't has been difficult at best. Yeah, it's a mess. Again, I've got these paintings on the table. I'm gonna put away. So, Gabriel has gotten really into painting lately. These are his paintings from yesterday. He's all about it, and I wanna keep a couple of them. Um, but I'm not gonna worry about the study. I'm trying to make sure, like, the spaces that are not the study are clean. All right, we got a snack. We have a nursing baby. I am going to try and find myself something to eat. And then, we're gonna go outside and get to watering and some outside projects. I don't know, I'm all over the place today and it's not working well for my brain. All right, Gabriel has lunch. He finished his, I watered all the plants, so all my morning chores are done, but I am gonna transplant these tomatoes. 
because it's not really transplanting them. They're all dead and they're starting to, the, the tomato plant is dead. The tomatoes themselves are starting to like shrivel and die. So I'm going to put them into my other garden and I'm going to bury them. Hopefully they'll rot and go into the soil and then maybe they'll grow into new plants next year. But at the very least it should be pretty good fertilizer. So that's the plan. But anyway, I'm not doing that until later. And Azariah is sitting on the floor eating some puffs over there. So since he is plenty content with his puffs, I'm going to finish making myself lunch. And I'm probably going to light a candle because my loon light candle that was in the window is gone. I used it all. So I need a new one. I'm going to go pick out a new one, I think. It's not... I'm not ready to commit to fall scents yet because... I'm the worst at burning fall scents, honestly, and I just don't want to, like, commit to it and then not be able to, like, actually burn it. I'm terrible. But I'm just not ready for it yet. It's cooler already, and that's enough for me to say I need, like, a last springy, summery, neutral scent. We are going to do Leo, which is a candle I got for, I can't remember if it was my birthday or Christmas last year, maybe? Last year. From my sister-in-law. And I'm going to burn this one because it's more of like a neutral scent, but it's white cranberry and musk. Which is a little bit more on the fall side because it's warmer with like that musk scent. And the cranberry is a little bit more of like a winter smell in my mind, but... It's from Target. This is the candle top. It is past Leo season, but I am a Leo, so since we are doing my makeup birthday next Saturday, I'm sure that this candle will not be fully used by then. And my other, my third Loon Lake candle that I got is in my Christmas scent fall scent. It's a fall scent in my mind for my home scent profile, if that makes sense. So I am not burning that one yet. Oh, it's pretty ready. The sound of the wind chime and the wind and the rustling leaves. I love it. I love it. I'm just not ready to commit to fall yet because that means committing to winter in this state and I'm not ready for winter yet. Additionally, it's supposed to be like almost 100 degrees over the weekend. So it's definitely not time to commit to fall. But it is time for last summer hurrahs and such. So over the weekend, I'm going to convince Gregory that we need to make s'mores and do... That's really like a quintessential summer thing for me. I know fall bonfires are a thing too, but... Summer bonfires are, like, where it's at for me. So we're definitely going to do that. And then look at my flowers. <laughs> Two the big roses are from a wedding, and then there are a bunch of wild, like, purplish daisies, weeds, uh, that were in our yard that Gregory, like, mowed up. And before he mowed those up, he, like, brought them inside. <laughs> He's a goofball. But it's very pretty. So get the dishes in the dishwasher unloaded, and then reload the dishwasher, get lunch, and then... I don't know, figure out what else I'm going to do, put the kids for a nap, not sure. Reloaded the dishwasher. I changed my sign to dirty. Got some lunch set up for Azariah as soon as he's done nursing. 
and then it's just getting me lunch before we move on to nap time. Okay, so I'm drying out some cucumber seeds. These cucumbers don't typically get big enough to seed, but they did. So I picked out the seeds like this, put them over here on this paper towel. I gotta figure out exactly how to take care of them, but I'm gonna read on that right now. Okay, so I just ate, and Gabriel's still eating his cucumbers. Ezra is finishing his lunch. And I put my seeds in water. You're supposed to let them sit for three days in water so that all like the coating and stuff floats to the top and it'll rid them of diseases and stuff. Uh, all the bad seeds will float to the top too and the good ones will sink. So after three days, we'll check in it on, maybe on it again and then put it on a plate in my window to dry. And then I've got some baby food jars that I'm gonna put it in. But I told Gabriel he could have a treat after he ate his lunch and he wanted mini marshmallows. So I'm gonna get those for him in this little twins hat thing that we got from the game. Gonna get myself a little treat. I don't know. Probably try and put the boys for naps. As needed. mostly spent my time chilling while Gabriel has been sleeping and as I napped. I'm gonna go finish my coffee and work on that insane mess over there and watch some TV. Let's get to work. Love, Genevieve. 